Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you this really cool point out animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So in this example I have some footage of a lamppost and we want to add a point out animation onto the lamppost to specify what this is. So we're going to begin by tracking the footage. So on the tabs on the right we want to find the tracker window, we'll select track motion and After Effects will generate a tracking point for us. Now it's up to you to place this tracking point in somewhere with high contrast on the part of the image that you want to track. So I want to try and find somewhere with high contrast on the lamppost and once you've comfortably found that we'll go ahead and we'll let the computer analyze the shot so we'll press the play button and we'll keep a close eye on the tracking point to make sure that it perfectly follows the video. Now if you were watching carefully you would have noticed the tracking point started to move about and it slipped from the original position. So we need to undo what we've just done, we need to scroll back to the very beginning and we need to place the tracking point somewhere with high contrast. So we'll place this in the bottom right corner of the lamppost, we'll press play again and once again we're just going to keep an eye on this tracking point just to make sure that it sticks in place. Now there you go, once you're happy with the trap we can go ahead and create a brand new null object. So we'll go up to layer, new, null object, we'll go back into the tracker window and we're going to edit target and we're going to set this to null 1. Now from here we just press apply and we want to apply this to the x and y dimensions then we'll press ok. So all of those tracking points have been applied to the null object meaning anything we parent to the null object will stick to the null. So from here we can go ahead and create our text. So we'll press the T button on the top bar, press onto the video and we can type out anything we want to say. So in this example I'm just going to put street light, we'll scale this down just a little bit and then we'll go into the effects and presets and we're going to add a little bit of drop shadow onto this just to make this text stand out a little bit more from the bright background. Now once you're happy with that we can go down into comp 1, we can select the street light text layer and using this pit whip tool we can drag this onto the null one and that means the street light text layer is going to stick to that null object. So if we play this back you can see that the street light text is now sticking with the video. So that looks really cool. Now from here we can go ahead and generate the point out line. So making sure that you haven't selected a layer, make sure nothing is selected. We'll go up to the mask tool on the top bar so that's the pen tool. Then we'll just draw a random line and go back up to fill and we want to remove the fill and we want to add a stroke. And then if your stroke is a little bit too big then you can just pull this down to around 10 or 11 pixels. Now all we need to do is move this line into position and then move the text layer down on top of this line. And once you're happy with the positioning of this line then we can just parent this to the null object as well so we'll use that pit whip tool and drop that on top of the null object. So if we play this back there you go both of those objects are now sticking with the street light and that is basically it but we do need to animate this on. So select the shape layer one, we'll press this little arrow, we'll go into contents, go into add and we'll add trim path to this object. Go into trim paths and if we pull the start up you can see that this is going to animate the wrong way so we'll pull the end down to 0%. We'll create a brand new keyframe by pressing the stopwatch icon, scroll across maybe a second or two and we'll pull the end back up to 100%. Now if we play this back you can see that this line slowly animates on and this looks really cool but we need to animate the text on to follow the position of the line. So go up to the rectangle mask on the top bar and we're going to draw a rectangle mask around the text layer. Go into mask one, create a brand new keyframe on the mask path so we'll press the stopwatch icon, scroll back a second in time and we'll pull the position of this mask over to the left so we'll just reduce the size of this making sure that the text layer is now hidden from the mask. Now the really cool thing about this technique is because we have a null object we can add some extra text underneath this line if you wanted to so we'll generate a new text layer, we'll type out anything that we like and all we have to do to stick this to the line and the other text is to parent this to the null object. So once that has been parented to the null object we can add a little bit of animation on this text layer. So we'll go into effects and presets, 
and we'll search for typewriter and we'll drop the typewriter effect on this text. That looks great, but the problem is because this is white text on a white background, you're struggling to see the text. So we're just going to add a little bit of shadow underneath. So we'll go into layer, new, solid, make sure the color is a darker color. We'll pull this underneath all of the text layers and then we'll draw a rectangle mask around the text. Go into the dark gray solid, we'll go into mask one and we're just going to pull the feather up to a point where we can't see the edges anymore. So we'll pull this up to around 200 and then we'll reduce the opacity down to 0%. Now generate a new keyframe by pressing the stopwatch icon at the beginning of the animation. Go across maybe one second or two, pull this up to around 30%. Now if we play this back, you'll see that the line and the title both animate on and then the text underneath slowly types on and we have an amazing point out animation effect in Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the previous video if you want to see more. See you on the next video.